Charlotte stands for it's fallen. That is the message reflected on billboards tonight on I-77 as the Charlotte area mourns the four officers killed in an ambush yesterday. That is the community came together for a prayer vigil tonight. Faith and community leaders gathering with the rest of the public to not only remember the lives lost, but to also pray for our community. WCNC Charlotte's Tradisha Woodard was there. Tradisha joins us live. An emotional outpouring I can only imagine tonight. That's right, guys, and right now I'm standing outside of CMPD on Sugar Creek where they've placed a patrol car out here and draped it with an American flag. Take a look, folks from the community stopping by to add flowers. Leaders tonight say Charlotte is crying. They say this tragedy leaves behind a sting across the entire community, but they say together we can get through this. Our people are hurting. We're hurting. Grief. It sits over the Charlotte community, but leaders say you don't have to face it alone. And it's times like these that we pray. Many leaders of faith praying for family and friends impacted by the violence. We witness another tragedy, but Lord, right now in your presence, we are calling upon your name. We are asking you, God, to wrap your arms of protection around the families that are suffering, oh Lord, in pain. Charlotte Mayor Lyles, also echoing the lingering pain felt by the death of the four law enforcement officers, including Joshua Ayers, one of CMPD's very own. I think the most difficult thing that I had to experience was when our own police officer passed away. We didn't know that he was going to pass away um, until this morning, very early. We knew that the surgeons and the doctors had been doing everything. They had resuscitated him. They'd done everything that they possibly could. But I think it was time for him. He had a better calling, another place to go. Along with prayers, community leaders also sharing a message of solidarity. They say it's the only way forward. I think it's important to show solidarity in the midst of a very difficult time so that the families know that they're being supported. Just to remember we're stronger together, that when we live in ways that shows that violence can't defeat us, that we won't give in to it, we make the possibility of it in the future less. And this has just been a heartbreaking 24 hours. The CMPD officer Joshua Iyer leaves behind a three year old son. Mayor Lyles encouraging the community, challenging the community to ensure he knows who his dad was a hero. Reporting for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Tradisha Woodard.